Former President Donald Trump is having trouble securing $454 million bond following the judgment in his New York civil fraud case. I'd have a problem getting that Me kind of too. money, too. I wouldn't. His legal team calling it a, quote, practical impossibility. Yeah, these companies don't do it. 30 companies that provide appeal bonds said no. And there's a chance he have made have to sell off some of his properties. He just doesn't have enough cash, the experts say. Madeline Rivera joins us now with the deadline. And the deadline is what? Six days away, right? Yeah, March 25th, Steve. So, guys, this reveals the serious cash crunch former President Trump is in as he deals with all the legal cases against him. They have asked about 30 insurance companies to back the bond, none of them willing to take the risk. According to Forbes, Trump is worth about $2.6 billion, but a lot of his wealth is tied up in real estate, his golf clubs, resorts. His lawyers, though, say for a judgment this big, about $464 million, bonding companies won't accept real estate as collateral. They want liquidity or cash, which, like as you said, Steve, as experts say, Trump does not have in that amount. And if he can't come up with the money on March 25th, New York Attorney General Letitia James could start seizing and selling Trump's assets. That is, unless an appeals court grants his request to pause the judgment. A Trump campaign spokesperson telling The New York Times, this is, this is a motion to stay the unjust, unconstitutional, un-American judgment from New York Judge Arthur N. Goron in a political witch hunt brought by a corrupt attorney general. A bond of this size would be an abuse of the law, contradict bedrock principles of our republic, and fundamentally undermine the rule of law in New York. Some of Trump's properties in New York include Trump Tower, Trump Park Avenue, 40 Wall Street, his golf clubs in Westchester and the Hudson Valley. James could potentially go after these properties. To do so, she would need to fill out an application in court. Separately, Trump and his co-defendants in the Georgia election interference case submitted a certificate of review after a judge ruled Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis can stay on if, if special prosecutor Nathan Wade stepped down, which of course he did on Friday. This certificate of review would allow them to appeal the, to the judge's order to a higher state court. Guys, back to you. So it's going to be fascinating. Thanks so yeah. much. It's Thanks going to be fascinating to see how this is done because uh, in high finance like this, it's over almost all of our heads. But this is what they say. Uh, they said ongoing diligent efforts have proven that the bond judgment in a full amount is practically an impossibility. Uh, you need essentially $1 billion in cash to get a $450 million bond. They went to 30 brokers overall, four separate brokers that usually do this much, and they just said that it's just not going to make sense. So to me, logically, this 5,000-page court filing by his lawyers say, knock this down. You know I'm appealing it. I think this thing, a lot of experts think, is going to be overturned anyway. So so knock it down to something more plausible, and he cites different examples along the way where an appeals court has stepped in and lessened the bond for different clients. Well, he's got to hope for a Hail Mary, essentially. Otherwise, uh, Letitia James, who gave him 30 extra days, could start selling stuff next Monday. But here, that just here's seems the problem. so wrong. Well, yeah, it? no, I, especially what if uh, he wins on appeal? And then, oh, sorry, we, we sold off the tower. Him. Right. Well, she's yeah. extremely giddy about it as well. She has this running thing on Twitter. Right. And remember, this is a campaign promise for her. She, before she was even elected, she talked about going after Donald Trump right. and also well, taking his property because this is new york everyone's yeah. praising her for this because it's such a liberal city yep but Indeed. a lot of people aren't that make money right uh, and a lot of rich successful people that provide almost all the taxpayer base that allows the trains to run and the buses to go are, are leaving and there's a big wake-up call, like, look, if I'm a Republican or I go on the wrong side of a mayor or governor, is this going to happen to me next? And I would say this, if your goal is to put up a substantial bond, how about a $100 million bond and then hold on to, you have these properties, right. because they take these properties, they have no experience selling 100%. these properties. How are they going to go find a buyer in the meantime? If uh, the 17th floor has a bursted pipe, is Lucia James going to go over there and, and fix, fix it? it? <laughs> if you have, if you have uh, the Trump Tower? I mean, to me, it's all, all, uh, it's all vindictive behavior. Well, let's see what happens. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.